had a lot of fun this weekend. I got to spend a lot of time with Jack. We got to go to uh, one of his friend's house, uh, his friend Reed. Uh, Reed's parents, Jesse and Lacey, are really great people. And, uh, and, and, and uh, then he has a friend, Abby, and her parents, Lauren and Jeff, are really awesome people. And we've hung out with them a bunch. And so we got to go to uh, uh, Lacey and Jesse's house, Reed's house, to uh, uh, decorate cookies. And Lacey had set up all the cookies. She baked the cookies, and then she made all the frosting. So that was super cool. And uh, I thought, what a perfect time to bring this Go Sun solar stove that they sent me. It's called the Go Sun uh, uh, Sport. And it's really cool because it's great for tailgating. It's great for barbecues. It's great for all sorts of stuff. And they sent it to me to check out. They're going to be on at CES, and they wanted me to check it out beforehand. And so I was like, I got this thing, and I was like, when am I going to use it? Then I wasn't, you know, I wasn't feeling well. And then I thought, like, it needed to be a nice sunny day. But it, it doesn't have to be, like, the most perfect day ever. Although yesterday was kind of perfect here in the New York, New Jersey metro area. But it doesn't have to be. And, and, and I'll show you how we found out that it doesn't have to be the perfect day. Um, it doesn't take very long to cook. It's easy to use. We did make a couple of mistakes along the way, which take longer. That's because I don't read directions. Jesse helped me out with that. He was like, maybe we should read the directions. Let's check this out. So, all right, let's watch the video from yesterday uh, of me out in the backyard at, at, at somebody else's house uh, getting everything prepared. Now, I am not the guy. It's funny. They sent this to me, and I'm like, I'm not the guy you want to send this to. I'm not Mr. Outdoors. I'm not Mr. Fix It. I'm not Mr. Assemble It. I can't assemble. I was so proud of myself when I assembled the Go Kiddo bike for Jack that is the balance bike, no pedals. And that really just took taking a wheel and putting it into, you know, through a column and tightening it. So I'm, I was like, you sent this to me. I'm, I might be the wrong guy for this. I was telling Jesse. It actually, I was like a little overwhelmed. I was, I, I maybe felt a little anxious with it. But I, I settled in real quick, and honestly, there was nothing to worry about. They actually did send it to the wrong guy, because if I can do it, anybody can do it. So I, I didn't season the food at all, because, uh, you know, I wasn't sure different allergies, different people at the party. And then the other, you know, especially with the little kids. And then the other reason I didn't season it is I was also, quite honestly, so wrapped up in, oh, I have to buy the food. Oh, I have to get it ready. Oh, I have to do this. And I was so wrapped up in, is this going to work, and am I doing it right, and it, that I, I just forgot to season the food too. Like that's also part of it. I was like, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, then maybe I will, maybe I'll do it after the fact. But there's no doubt you could season the food and, and make it great. And by the way, it tasted really good without seasoning. So it's called the Go Sun Solar Stove. This model is the Sport. They have a huge barbecue one coming out that's gonna be amazing. Now I'm really excited for that one. Uh, I think they're announcing that uh, very shortly. Uh, it's already on their site. I think it's available for uh, pre-order or it's sold out or something, but uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's really awesome. I'm excited about that one, but this one's really great because you could like fit this in a backpack, take it with you hiking, set it up. You don't have to worry about making a fire. You don't have to worry about burning the woods down, and certainly you don't have to worry about cleaning up a fire. Just clean this like little tray. Well, you know what? Just check this out. We'll talk about it after. It's pretty cool. This is the Go Sun solar stove. This is the sport model, and uh, yeah, I'm the last guy you would ever send this to that could make it work, and boom, I did it. Check it out. We're going to try this Go Sun barbecue. We're going to try it. It's a nice day out. It's, look at that sun. It's food and fun, and let's see. I've loaded this thing with meat and vegetables and, and fake meat. I did a, a vegan sausage, some beef tips, and some vegetables. Check it out. All right, it's in the direct sunlight. It is now 1.06 p.m. precisely. Let's see what happens.
All right, I feel a little like a mad scientist right now. Here we go. Wow. That's the beef, pretty good. Broccoli, awesome. Mushroom, good mushroom. This is the um, meatless sausage for vegan. That's awesome. Wow, this thing really worked. Pretty freaking sick. Wow, took a little bit longer than we thought, but it worked good. And that's because we had to learn how to reposition it, how to do it, how to figure it out. It was pretty good. I'm impressed. It was pretty much like just set it up and forget it, walk away, come back. It was like 25 minutes once we got it positioned right. It was like 25 minutes. Pretty cool. Now the hard part, we have to clean it. All right, so that is the Go Sun Solar Stove. That's the sport model. And the food was really good. I was actually like craving that while I was watching back the edit today. I was like, oh my God, I should use it right now today. Um, and the coolest part, I think, when I was thinking about it afterwards, and I'm like, you know, it's really a set it and forget it device. If I was barbecuing, if I, if I really was barbecuing on like a grill, then everybody either has to congregate around the grill or I miss out on all the conversation and all the fun. But once that was set up and all I do is buy meat chunks, wash them off, buy vegetables, wash them off, and uh, buy those, uh, those uh, sausages, those vegan sausages, wash them off, throw them in. If I just mildly prepared the food, threw it in there, I, will, I set it up, I walk away for 20, 25, 30 minutes. When I come back, it's all done. I can actually go and have a conversation. That's what I did. We went back in the house. We played with tricycles. We did all sorts of things. I said, this is phenomenal. You know, if you were feeding like eight people, you'd need the bigger one. But if you had a small group, that's a perfect size. Or maybe both are perfect. So that's why I'm excited for the bigger one. The other thing is, it's, it doesn't seem as dangerous for kids, right? The kids can be around. I mean, we could have put that on a table and propped it up a little. But the kids can be around it. You don't have to worry about the flames and the fire and, and cleaning it up. And of course, you don't have to worry about the environmental impact. But you also don't have to worry about the butane or the... Um, What's that other stuff? Propane? You don't have to worry about any of that or the charcoal. So it seems like it's not only cleaner and easier and better for the environment and your hands and all that stuff, but it's safer too in my mind. Now it did say it gets up to 700 degrees, but that's inside the tube. The metal around it was still cool enough to touch and you could see the steam coming off it or the smoke, whatever it was. I don't, I don't know. I guess it was steam. It all tasted really good. I think the broccoli and that sausage, that vegan sausage was actually amazing. If you didn't tell me it was vegan, I wouldn't have known. And uh, the broccoli was unbelievable in there. You could just cook really good stuff. The meat was great too. And originally we thought maybe it needed a few more minutes. I think that that was like medium well. It probably could have easily a few more minutes earlier been medium or even rare. So, you know, you just got to get the handle on what you're doing. But I think it was also really cool because to the kids, it's like a science experiment and it can get them involved. There are so many different things that I can think of this would be cool for and reasons why it's cool. I really did like it. And you don't have to start a fire. You don't have to build a fire. You don't have to worry about fire. And it's fun. I mean, that's the best part. It's fun. Now, some of the things I thought were really cool was the fact that, you know, I thought, and, and so did my friends Jesse and Jeff when we were doing this together, uh, we thought that, you know, you really needed direct sunlight. And they say you can use it on a cloudy day. It just takes a little bit longer to cook. Now, we had direct sunlight, but as you noticed in the video, the sun moves. And so I moved it. And then the sun, what I noticed this morning by watching it back on the edit is that the sun moved again. So you really can be a little bit in the shadow. I was worried about trees blocking it or houses, and we were neurotic. And that's why it took longer than normal, because the first thing is I didn't push the stopper all the way in because I didn't realize I had to take the cleaning sponge off. 
off the end. It just comes off easily. You unscrew it by hand and you push it all the way in. So that took a minute and Jeff was like, I think the thing needs to be sealed. And then we started reading the directions. And of course I needed to take the cleaning sponge off, which comes, it ships with the cleaning sponge on. And you don't want to cook the sponge, do you? Okay, that's when we figured out, all right, you got to take that off. So we took that off. That wasted the first 10 minutes. Uh, the other thing was we moved it a couple of times and maybe angled it. Now I'm not sure we needed to angle it and move it and worry that much about it because when I look back in the video, it kept going out of the sun anyway. And I'm confident in saying that on a cloudy day, this thing would work perfectly. And also on a, on a little bit of blocked sunlight, it would work perfectly. Again, it might take a few more minutes and you know, it, it's okay if the sun moves, you don't have to worry about jockeying it around. And that's what I was really nervous about. I think that it shows that this thing is a really great stove and you don't have to have optimal and perfect conditions. And that's what I said to Jesse when we were inside. I was like, you know, if this thing has to have optimal conditions, it's not a product anybody would want. It's not a usable product. And it turns out it doesn't have to have optimal conditions. So that's great. It's a very usable product. I really like it. I really like the food from it. I thought it was fun. It was a great experience. It was easy to do. The cleanup was easy, just cleaning that tray with a sponge basically. And the other part, that's really awesome about it is it's you're not leaving a carbon footprint. It's a lot safer and the food tasted so good. It really did. So you got to check it out. Go to GoSunStove.com. That's GoSunStove.com. We're going to have the guys on at CES. We're going to find out their wonderful story and we're going to find out more about the bigger barbecue, which I think will be great for tailgate parties, for all sorts of stuff and corporate events too. You don't have to worry about somebody getting hurt with something like this at the office. You can set this up outside, you know, start it, go inside, do some more work and have a nice barbecue in the summer for everybody and a nice corporate like lunch or something. I, I think that that's cool. I really like the idea that you can just let this be once you start it and walk away and come back. You don't have to flip anything. You don't have to do it. It's just, it happens. It just cooks. It's really cool. I really liked it. So, you know, there's the video. Uh, check it out yourself. Go to GoSunStove.com and find out more. What a really ingenious product. I didn't know what to expect when they said they were going to send me a solar barbecue. I had no idea. And then when I got it, I was like, what is this? This looks like uh, I should be putting incense in this or something. And I thought, it, it's kind of too beautiful. It should be art. It's all glass and metal and it looks great. I should hang this on the wall. And I wasn't sure. But I used it, it worked great, and I'm excited about it. And you know, we cooked a couple more times and everybody enjoyed it. It was really, really cool. That's the Go Sun Solar Stove. That is the sport model. Check it out. And of course, they've got a bigger barbecue coming soon. We'll show that off, I guess, at CES. We'll find out how these guys thought of this and how they started the company. I thought it was really, really fascinating and, and, and pretty awesome. And the fact that you can like just take that out of the back of your car and just get some sunlight and let's cook some food. I mean, how cool is that for camping? How cool is that for even your house? You could just put it on your porch or something. That's basically what we did, you know. I, we could have been a little bit more planned with a table and we could have been more planned with, uh, you know, at one point I joked, we'll just put it on the car here to be in the perfect sunlight. But I mean, we could have been more planned with putting it on a table and getting it off the ground, but it was fun. It was cool. It was so easy to use. It was that easy, literally. Just took the chunks, stuck them in there, walked away, had a conversation. Oh, maybe we should get that sponge out. Why is it? Okay, we take the sponge off, put it back in. Do, does it need to be in direct sunlight? Let's move it to the direct sunlight now because now it's in the shadow. But isn't the sun going to keep moving? It's still going to be in the shadow. Yes, it is. Well, well, we'll see. That's got a lot of sun. It probably will make it 20 minutes. Didn't make it 20 minutes. Didn't make it five minutes. It's in the shadow again. And yet it cooked perfectly. It was great. So check that out. At Be Terrific TV on all social media, by the way. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about a whole lot more. Join our Slack chat. Send us an email. Connect at BeTerrific.com. We'll, uh, your name, your email, and uh, we will send you an invite to join our Slack chat. I know that we've got a lot of great Terrifics that are in there now. Digital Phil, Jenny, CJ, there's the extender, and a whole bunch more. So uh, join our Slack chat. It's a lot of fun. Keep the conversation going 24 hours a day. All right, CES, January 6th to the 9th. The festivities actually start on the 4th. We travel on the 3rd, so you're not going to want to miss a moment. And once we start going at CES on the 6th, it's 24 hours a day, so you're not going to miss a moment because anything you miss, you can just catch on reloop. all right? We're going to be both at the LVCC and the SANS. There are two exposition centers. CES is amazing. We're an official media partner. Check them out. And the hashtag is CES2016. We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere.